In the 1960s, Roger Penrose showed that inside a black hole, relativity predicts a singularity, where our current laws of physics break down. Later on, Stephen Hawking adapted Penrose's theorem to show that if the future of collapsing matter is a singularity, then the past of expanding matter would also have a singularity according to relativity. Thus were born the Penrose-Hawking singularity theorems. This was depicted in the Oscar-winning film The Theory of Everything. But what really happened? The term singularity was used much more broadly later on by Stephen Hawking. You see, I gave this a talk at King's College, London, where I described this, tech, this argument I'd given, which is, I think, 1964. Next Friday, I'm taking a few graduates of merit to London to attend a talk by the mathematician Roger Penrose. Do come along, if you're interested. If the star is massive enough, it will continue this collapse, creating a black hole, where the warping of space-time is so great that nothing can escape, not even light. And at its end point, what are we left with? A space-time singularity. Space and time come to a stop. According to the movie, Stephen Hawking was at my talk, but that was quite wrong. <laughs> I, Dennis Sharma, heard about my talk and he asked me to give a repeat at Cambridge. I gave a repeat at Cambridge. Stephen Hawking was present at that. I then had a sort of private talk afterwards with Stephen, with George Ellis, I think Brandon Carter for some of the time I was there. I don't think he was there all the time. And I t talked about the techniques I'd used and Stephen picked up on these things very quickly and um, started to apply them to the cosmological singularity and the Big Bang singularity, and could you say the same sort of thing? And he ended up writing a thesis, which part, a big part of that thesis had to do with singularities in cosmology. Stephen's PhD thesis, it actually consisted of four topics, curiously enough, four topics, only one of which was on the singularity Perhaps. theorems in cosmology. What he'd done at that point. Welcome, Stephen. Good morning. Would you like to take a seat? No, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, sure. Yeah. So, Stephen, in summary, um, as we know, chapter one, full of holes, uh, lacks mathematical support. Professor Thorne? Chapter two, not really original. Uses a lot of Roger's ideas. Well, at least you run with them. Uh, chapter three, too many unanswered questions. I agree. And then, of course, we have chapter four, this black hole hold at the beginning of time. Space-time singularity. Indeed. It's brilliant. Brilliant, Stephen. Superb. And therefore, though all there is to say is well done. Or perhaps I should say, to be more precise, well done, Doctor. Bravo, Stephen. An extraordinary theory. <laughs> I remember writing in my report, I was one of the referees, I should say, I was a referee, Dennis Sharma was a referee, and according to the movie, Kip Thorne was a referee. That's complete false, he was not there. We only had two, two referees. And uh, I remember I had come armed with a list of typos and various little errors, and I brought them up, and he's corrected all of them by the time we had the... the uh, but you see, there were four parts to his thesis, only one part consisted of this singularity theorem stuff, which he developed much more later on. But um, I think in my report, I said any two parts would be good enough for a PhD, any two of the four. So he, it was certainly a very good piece of work. But he, he, these were continuing the kinds of arguments that I'd used, the argument being that you could apply them not just to a local collapse, but this sort of cosmic collapse that if you imagine that the Big Bang was the result of some kind of bounce, that there was a collapsing universe which bounced and came out again, and the argument um, that Stephen was 
groping for, he did have some good arguments, were that you still had to have singularities. And eventually we wrote a joint paper together, which encompassed uh, several more than the arguments he'd already worked on.